Welcome to another Daily Recap. Today is Tuesday, September 3, 2024, 7.37 a.m. So the, so the SPY kind of floated, at least the futures kind of floated yesterday after they closed on Friday, kind of, kind of where they were at on Friday near the high of this range. But I noticed when the pre-market opened, at least the equities market opened at 4 a.m. Eastern, there was a little bit of a drop and they're kind of currently around 561.40. They looked a little bit weak earlier in the morning, so it's uh, before 8 this morning. We've got some time before the market opens, so it can open anywhere, but I just want to keep an eye out on you know some type of maybe a black swan event or something out of the blue that could kind of tank the market. That's kind of what I'm thinking at this point. But generally, these bullish trends that end in a bullish consolidation play out to the upside, but they've attempted it, and they can't seem to get above this uh, kind of area around 564 or so and close above that. and and test the all-time highs and get below 554, another 100 S&P handles below, then uh, they could fall. So we'll see what happens. I'll come back to this chart after the market closes this afternoon or evening. We've got some traveling today, so it could be late. And we'll catch you on the other side. Well, here we are after the market closed. You can see it's been kind of a long day for me. It's 10.40 p.m. almost. So they dropped and they Got some hourly closes below that number that I was uh, talking about and looking at this morning that I sent out in the email, 554. So way down here. So let's just take a look at what happened. And I was not at my computer at all today. Didn't take any trades just as well. Although the one level that was on the board this morning would have worked if you were patient. I'll show you how I coded this thing. And there were other levels that I had that could have worked, but I wasn't there, so I can't make any judgment call on whether I would have taken them or not, but it was definitely a trend day down. Interesting that right after they opened, maybe 30 cents or so below this 560.77, they went up, hit it, and fell away, and pretty much went down for the rest of the day. But this is zone down here uh, between 558.85 and 558.70. So if you had bought in here, you would have averaged in the middle of this because they just fell right through it. Uh, they found some type of support for a little while at least, but this little candle here, also in the futures, I, I was looking at it, analyzing this after the fact, they came up within a tick of giving you a profit target here, so you would have probably just wanted to jump out not knowing what was going to go on at a wash when they came down that fast, or maybe you know in the hole a little bit, but they end up coming back and giving it to you, so the base hit was right up here, just barely, so it doesn't look like much here, but that's uh, that was a base hit if you were patient. I'm not going to count it because that would have been pretty hard to trade, and I had other levels down here that uh, just weren't on the board because, well, I was hoping they would they would play out of this bullish consolidation and go higher, but they kind of got spooked, and I wondered if that might happen. Really, no viable trades today unless you were on the short side from up here, which I don't like to take trades before 9 to 45, or at least before that 15-minute mark. You know that, but this level worked really well early on. Would have been nice if you could have ridden this entire thing down, but so let's look at the log and see how this thing is going to get recorded. You can read the notes here, level 3, not triggered because... It was before my 15-minute, my self-imposed start time, although that was a nice level. And then the other two were, this is part of the zone, averaged in. You would have had a wash of an, because of the near miss of that profit target. It came up within just just a few pennies away, which is basically a tick. And the futures pulled away back to your entry level and then started falling. Then a good time to reevaluate that decision at that point. So I don't want to say that could have been a base hit, although they did bounce up eventually. And that was the lowest thing I had on the board. Only thing we're going to count and as, as I've already said, no trades for me. So interesting that we've got some, some price action below the low of that range. What does this mean for tomorrow and going forward? Well, we'll talk about it tomorrow morning when we have new levels on the board. Talk about what might happen with the new levels and the direction they're going. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting. Catch you in tomorrow's video.